Hello everyone, it's Nick here and we're on the ZX Spectrum and we're looking at a game which I don't think was an official release. No, I definitely know it wasn't. It's Boulder Dash 4, uh, written by Hugh Connery and Ray Ferry in 1986 and based around the original engine of Boulder Dash by a front runner in 1984, uh, based on the arcade cabinet by First Star Software. Now, um, this did come out the same sort of time as a Boulder Dash um, stage creator or level creator, so it's pretty from that and I think there's Boulder Dash 5 about and Boulder Dash 6 but I don't think they're official so we'll see what they've done is it any different from the original game or is it the same there's Rockford we control around the map now the problem with the first game was the scrolling um, this is quite colorful though and I, does it have the same problem or not hmm Yes, has the same problem. Look, Rockford's left the screen while the scrolling's a little bit behind. Now, the idea normally is to go around the maze collecting diamonds and not getting crushed by falling rocks if you cut a, a trench beneath them. I can't see any diamonds here at all, so what's going on? Um, right, I, I see. Now, we need to release these creature things from the middle. Bit odd for a stage one. And um, if we um, hit them with a boulder, I think they then turn into diamonds, so that's what we're going to do. So it looks the um, same engine, looks like a bit of variety from the original Boulder Dash. Uh, that was a bit um, uh, monochrome, Boulder Dash 2 had a bit more colour in it. and uh, It's a nice choice of colours, but the graphics are exactly the same. Yes, yeah, so they chase you and then you die straight away. Hmm. Yes, um... I'm not sure what to think of this one really. I mean, I didn't mind Boulder Dash and then I played it on the Commodore 64 and it was a lot better. It's the scrolling which is the big problem with this one. Um, sometimes you need to move fast and if the scrolling is slightly behind it makes it um, quite awkward. Um, you don't have to do the same stage each time, so we'll have a look at a few stages on this. Yeah, but if you had the editor, you'd probably be able to come up with something similar. Call it Boulder Dash 12 or something like that, and it doesn't really make it a new game. It's just an extension of the existing one, really. But good to see. So if you want to track down Boulder Dash 4, here it is. Now, I'm being... Oh, man. I'm being chased by these alien things. I never really spent a great deal of time with Boulder Dash. There were a few clones about, including Earthshaker. But you know, horses for courses really. If you like these games, you'll probably like this one as well. But essentially it is Boulder Dash. I can't get away from that. I can't class this as a different game. Even the title screen is the same. Uh, on the uh, thumbnail, I suppose, I might have to put the number four over the top, but it is Boulder Dash 1, just wearing slightly different clothes. So we'll see if I can beat a single stage, but they haven't gone traditional with this. Um, so basically, collect diamonds, then an exit opens and gets to that. It's not like that at all. I wonder if they'll have any traditional stages on here. The uh, creators obviously want to get a little bit inventive with it. See, look, I can't see where I'm going now. Right, okay, so let's take a bit of a breather here while we wait for the thing to catch up. Now, they're not after us anymore, but we... Oh, look at that. You see, turned into diamonds, but that's because they crashed into me. How many lives we got left? I want to do a different stage, but we... Yeah, that's the end. So we'll do a different stage. We won't make this super long. Boulder Dash, it says. It doesn't say Boulder Dash 4. It just says Boulder Dash. Shall I put a superimposer 4 over the top? No, I can't be bothered. He can't be bothered. Now, I'm imagining... I haven't looked at it, but I'll put a note in my book to look at it. I haven't looked at Boulder Dash 5 or 6. I think there's a 6. Um... Yes, yeah, so we're doing a different stage this time. Looks like there's some gunk at the side. How does that move? I'm not quite sure. It might start spreading to the rest of the place. There's some steps there which we can't alter, or bits of green wall. Hmm, again no diamonds. It's just teaching you about different um, aliens or different features of the map. Time's ticking down in the middle. If that ticks to zero, that's it. I'm trying to find if there's anything else we can use. Does it look like it? It looks like the whole rest of the maze is completely and utterly empty. Hmm, there's a rock there and a... Yeah, I thought that was an exit. That's a, a mine that can kill you, so don't go near the mine. So somehow we need to get that gunk over here, hit it with the mines, I think, and then it will turn into diamonds. Possibly. Hmm. So you wouldn't really want to be playing this if you haven't played the original game because you won't know what's going on. A bit like me now, really. Have you completed this? Have you even seen it? Boulder Dash 4, check out the construction kit. I mean, 
you can't make too many different stages. Is that going to spread across the place? It's not doing anything. Maybe we could just run into it. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gripped about designing my own stages, to be honest with you. I'll rather use the existing ones that are already there. Oh, it's starting to spread a little bit now, right, in its squares. So there's leakage going on. Oh, we don't want to get trapped down here. Let's get out here. We don't want to drown. Come on, Rockford. Out we go. So what's going to happen here? I presume we need to drop rocks on this stuff to turn it into diamonds. If it fills in the whole stage, then we're pretty much doomed. Go, Rockford, go. He's an odd sort of fellow. But do check out my review of Boulder Dash on the Commodore 64, if you haven't already. Um, there's no getting away from it. That version does scroll a lot better, and it's um, a slightly more comfortable game. This is sort of like doing my eyes out a bit. All right, so the rock... Oh, see, the rock dumps, and that mine bounces up and down on top of it. Let's create a bit of gap in here. Right, it's got a long way to fall now, if we go underneath it. Right, here it goes. Oh, no! Why has that gone that way round? Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting gravity to take its toll. Don't know where that thing's gone now. There it is. Right, it can only go a route that we cut open. Hmm, playing with fire a bit here. Whoops. Okay, don't follow me. Right. Da 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 da. Uh, uh oh. Spaghettios. Oh, come on. Throw me a freaking bone here. So I really had to get that thing chase me into the gunk, which is spreading from the other side of the map. But, you know, you live and you learn, and then you die, and then you forget it all. Hooray! Are you a Boulder Dash fan, or can you not stand the game? Let me know below. I did do a, um, I did review a version of Boulder Dash on the Commodore Amiga as well. I think that was based on Rockford's Adventures, but that was a, I think it was a borderline budget game. It might have been even a public domain game. Didn't quite like it as good as this, but it's good to see it try to be converted across. The, um, the classic games tend to get converted quite heavily. Space Invaders, Pac-Man, Panic. Uh, still a few versions of Panic we got to go, and of course, Boulder Dash. The end. The end. Yes. Right. Okie dokie. One or two players. I'm the only player here. Try your different caves. I'm on the joystick. Right. Let's see if this gives us a traditional one. Doesn't look like it, does it? No. Right. There's the enemy there in the middle. Yellow border, red rocks. And they're after me already. Right. Okay. This is like a game of death chase. And um, yeah, see, I can't see where I am now. Oh, there's some gunk there. Right. Okay, so that was successful. That's the first successful bit I've done in the video. That's turned them into diamonds. Um, can I collect these? I don't want to get crushed by them. Get out of the way, Rockford. Well, that's worked. Right, as soon as I... Yeah, now the gunk's coming down. Right, okay. Yeah, that, that gunk's causing problems. It's even going through the rock work and I've crashed into an enemy and it's Doomsville. Yeah, that scared me a little bit there. Got one more life on this stage or not? Uh, yes. Right, we've got a few more lives actually. Two men, it says. Who am I to argue? Let's let's attack it from the other end this time. See if that uh, does any better. It's all about tactics. Very rarely you can do it correctly on your first go. One of the best puzzle games I reviewed recently it wasn't on the Spectrum. It was on the Commodore Amiga. And it was pushover. We have to assemble dominoes in the correct order to knock them all over, and that's Doomsville again for me. Yeah, puzzle games are good, I think, when I can do them. When I can't do them, then they're quite annoying. Not sure where this is going to come in the top six, but I'll be surprised. Always have to have a bit of a think about it, and the comments do influence me slightly. But I'll be surprised if this makes it in the top six. A, because it's not a proper game. It's using the existing Boulder Dash. And B, because um, it doesn't feel like Boulder Dash. The levels are a bit too uh, tricky for me. There we go. So I blame my own deficiencies um, on the game. Bibi bobba dabba bibba bobba bobba. Can we do one more stage, show you that, see if that's a more traditional level? Let's circle around. Cave I. The I cave. I is for. Oh, it's yellow and red again, it looks. Right, so this looks a bit more traditional. See, like, there's diamonds about the place, which we must get. I think there's 90 left to get. I think that's right. Time ticking down, right, and avoid all the meanies. 
Right, okay, so you got the idea. That diamond's fallen down there. We've collected a few. We've had a few. Sometimes you don't have to collect all the diamonds. I think that enemy's pretty much trapped there for the time being. Don't need to go down there again. Well, that's an enemy there. Keep going. So that's hmm, that one's stuck going in a square. Right now, so this like cave eye looks like you at least you got half a chance of doing, but you do need to work out what you're doing, like all of these things. Right. Yeah, I'm, God, I so knew that was going to happen. If you knew that was going to happen, Nick, why did you do it? Well, because I'm a fool to myself. Nink and poop. Well, you know. Someone's got to be, and it might as well be me. I'll, I'll do my normal excuse. I'll say, if I didn't have to commentate and play at the same time, I'd be a genius. Yeah, that'll do. We'll, we'll fall back on that one. Why not? Go, Rocky. Whoops. Sidestep that thing. Um, right. Well, we seem to we killed the enemy that time, the alien. Right, so we collected 13. I see it ticking there just above that blue wall. So 13 done. 14. Avoided the rock. So we're going better than before. So I'm gradually learning stuff. Which I can use in the real world. No, ow. No, nowhere. And I'm dead again. You have to restart right from the beginning every time you die. Which is a shame, really. Bit like if you're reincarnated, I suppose. You can't take the money you earn or the successes you made in your previous life. You've got to start again being a baby. No one's got time for that. Just continue where you left off. Uh, right, okay. We, we, we went a bit deep there. Duh. And that was the stupidest thing I could have possibly done. Besides putting my head in a lion's mouth. And that lion in the corner, I'm not going anywhere near him. Actually, I don't think that is my lion. I'm going to have to sort that out. Well, anyway, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Boulder Dash 4, unofficially. Uh, written by Hill Connery and um, Ray Ferry, I think, in 1986. A full two years after the original Boulder Dash. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. A huge thank you to everyone that subscribed so far, helping the channel gradually grow. That is appreciated. If you want to help a bit more this patreon.com slash njenkin every bit really does help until next time folks take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye